Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to uh, go through the explanation on how to use um, output MIDI ports inside progressions. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside AUM. So um, the first thing I want to do is to show you how you can use uh, progression in two different ways, which I never mentioned so far in previous uh, videos. The first one, of course, is what I showed so far, which is about um, running progression as if it, it was an audio source inside an audio channel. And as you can see, it is loaded like so. Let's uh, click here to enable the pad preview on. And if you click on a chord, you have that sound which is coming from the built-in instrument. If you go on the menu here, you click instrument settings, so you have sound font, synth strings, and the instrument is just, is just this uh, Giga Dynamite electric piano. And of course, you can turn that off and now you don't uh, uh, hear it anymore. And then, as I demonstrated in other videos, you can load, for example, another um, a UV free unit and connect the two. And when you connect the, uh, for example, the input to this grand piano UV free uh, from progression, you have um, four different um, MIDI outputs or port outputs which are coming from uh, progression. And um, let's pick up the first one uh, for now. I will explain them in a moment. So if I go back now to progression and I press on a, on a pad, now I have uh, the um, grand piano AUV free playing. And you can see here with the LEDs in terms of output. Right. So um, let's close these and let's remove this grand piano uh, channel. Now, every time I turn on progression in this way as an audio source, it will have that instrument on. So let's say that I want to remove this. Okay, and let's reintroduce again uh, progression as an audio source. What you will find is that, um, here we go, and enable the pod preview, press on a chord, you have that still on. So you have that instrument settings which is still on, which you have to disable every single time. Even if you were to go uh, to the settings, uh, at least in this version, save the defaults, those will not contain the settings for the instrument to be off by default. So let me show you. So if I bring in again progression, uh, like so, and I have saved the default um, with the instruments off, I click a pod preview on, and I have that again on. So um, the way to actually um, use it without having to reset the instrument to off every single time is not to use an audio channel, not to use a, a progression inside an audio channel, but to actually create a MIDI channel. Okay, oops, a MIDI channel. So let's remove that again. So let's click, click on the plus sign and let's create a MIDI channel. And of course in here, then to search for progression. And there it is. Now, in this way, you don't have that uh, instrument which uh, uh, you were having as uh, as you loaded progression as uh, an uh, audio source inside an audio channel. You can see it's not in there. The menu actually is different. And now, of course, you can actually create an audio channel. And this time, let's actually um, search for uh, something like Synth Master 2, like so. And let's connect the two again using port one. Okay. Actually, um, let's go to um, port two instead of port one, and I'll explain that in a moment. Um, let's go on browse here and let's search inside the synth master something like um, sphere. I know something that uh, I like this pad, um, spherical design FM. And let's adjust also the attack a little bit, like so, and the volume as well, a little bit. Now, this is connected to port two of progression. There are four output MIDI ports. Where do you set those? Well, you go to the menu here, 
Then you go to settings and here you find output MIDI port assignment. Click on it and this is where you have uh, all the assignments. So it says base out, which is the base note which you can add as a MIDI output. Let's leave that on port number one. Block chords out, which is the default selection. Let's select that to port two. So in this case, we have the codes going to port 2. The arpeggio, when you select it, let's set that to go to port 3. And then let's set the strumming out to go to port 4 as well. Okay? And, of course, you can set also the MIDI throughout to port 5 if you wish so. And so let's check again. So inside uh, the connection, uh, here we have, uh, um, yeah, the four outputs. They're perfect. Okay, so... Next, uh, I will explain these in, uh, in more detail in the next tutorials, but for now, click on Generate. Actually, let's select uh, a mode minor. Click on Generate, then um, select Auto Reset there, okay? Then let's set the freedom to wide and the complexity to low, okay? And then let's click uh, uh, and hold Generate. And now let's set the hosting to sync to uh, here, to sync to the AUHAM tempo and sync messages. And now let's click play. show you a little bit of magic now let's duplicate that synth master 2 um, channel and uh, let's select a different preset here let's go for um, uh, something like a base here and um, let's scroll down and see what um, we can choose um, let's choose something which uh, I used to be for uh, which at the moment I can't, I can't see very much. Let's try again. Let's use that one, that uh, Junotic 2, uh, which is an ARP-based uh, base. Let's connect these to port number one. Okay, and if you go back to progression, again to the settings, uh, output MIDI port assignment, on port number one we have the base out, which we are going to enable here, clicking on base node. Okay, like so. And remember, we have auto generator uh, auto reset here on, duplicate on as well, which means that it will go on a ping pong plane and it will regenerate the code of progression. But I will explain that in the next tutorial. So let's click play. <music> Quite nice, right? So let's duplicate again that audio channel for Synth Master and let's connect that uh, third audio channel to output number three. Okay, and let's go inside uh, Synth Master 2. Let's click browse. This time, um, let's search for something like uh, a plug. And then let's scroll down and choose this translate one. Let's decrease the volume. Um, like so and this is an example you could use uh, other other way to do that and uh, so we are connected on port number three yeah and um, now let's click on arpeggiator when I click on arpeggiator if you go back to the settings on the menu you have uh, the arpeggiator going to uh, port number uh, three so let's click play <music> to block chords as I play. Really nice, isn't it? And I can change, of course, the arpeggio style here. Well, let's choose something like that one. Let's click play. Mm -hmm. 
Like this. So, for example, let's add another audio channel inside here. Why not? Let's go for uh, an upright, uh, uh, pure upright piano. Let's connect these to progression port output number four, like so. And now um, let's go back to uh, progression, the MIDI processor, like so. And now we can click on the strummer and let's click play. Let's add some drums, so let's add another audio channel, like so. Let's uh, search for uh, um, Hammerhead, like so. And let's build something very simple as we play. open chords on and now let's auto generate straight away Lots of fun just using progressions with, in this case, Synth Master 2, Hammerhead, and Pure Upright with a simple addition of a Bliss Reverb. But that depends on your taste. So you can see how important it is to know how to use the output MIDI port because you can drive, of course, different arrangement or create your own arrangement using the progressions up as a MIDI processor, in this case, inside a UM. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and demonstration and as always, see you next time. Bye.